morning, everybody, and welcome into today's video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Harry, and I am a drummer. For those of you that have seen my videos before, thank you for being here. Welcome back. Now, as some of you will know, I am currently on tour in Florida with Tom's Elton Tribute, and we are still in Miami. A couple of things have changed since the last vlog. We moved hotels. So we've moved to the Sinesta. Still close to where we were before, pretty much just down the road. So it's still right next to Miami Beach. If you go out the back of the hotel, you can go straight onto the beach. So this location is certainly in the center of the happenings. And quite frankly, I'm still overwhelmed by how we are in such a nice place. Like I do not take this for granted, this is insane. We had three days off from gigging where we just got to unwind a little bit, but also there was still plenty to do because I am currently still having to fill a couple of dates. I've been on booking work for this tour, so that's what I've been working on. Uh, just cracking open the laptop, writing emails, making phone calls, and basically just keeping busy in our free time. Now, another cool perk in this Sinesta Hotel is that right on our floor, Justin and I have a gym uh, right down the hallway. So we've been going to the gym pretty much every day since we got here. Uh, that's really practical to obviously, you know, keep in shape and mentally focused on tour. I find it so important to exercise most days while I'm while I'm on the road cuz cuz otherwise you just get too lethargic and kind of exhausted quite quickly. And also another update for those of you that saw my last video, you know I bought a new Zildjian K paper thin crash. Uh, the 20 inch model. Two days ago, we went back to Guitar Center because on our second gig, which was at McSorley's in, I think it was Fort Lauderdale, very cool venue. The drum set just pretty much took on a life of its own and started moving, especially the bass drum while I was playing it, shifting forward ever so slightly. But then eventually my foot was just like stretched out. Uh, and a couple of times Justin had to walk around to the front and like, kick it back into position. Obviously that was not great. So we went to Guitar Center two days ago to buy a drum rug, but then <laughs> while I was at Guitar Center, of course, as you do, you know, you, you browse, you window shop, and then I found a 19 inch paper thin crash that obviously with the paired with the 20 inch is just gonna sound amazing and harmonize so nicely, like tone wise. After due consideration, uh, and you can see where this is going. I had to go for it. And so I bought the 19 inch paper thin crash uh, after having bought the 20 inch one the other day. But now I've not just got all Zildjian's on the kit, I've got all Zildjian K's, which has literally been my dream setup since I was basically a teenager. So I am over the moon ecstatic about that and I can't wait to try them out on the kit tonight. It was just because the 18 inch A custom crash, the sound was just too bright, especially paired with the K's. The highs were too too bright and too harsh. And the and the K's are just so well balanced tone wise that on the second gig it was it was just bothering me ever so slightly, like my OCD kicked in. I was kind of sitting there and playing these cymbals and especially when I was hitting the paper thin crash over here. I was just like every time I hit it or 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 you know or struck the bell of the symbol. It was this like rush of excitement, just, oh, it sounds so good. But then when I when I hit the A Custom, and don't get me wrong, it's it's a great symbol, and the A Custom series is a great series. The tone over here is just so crisp, and then the A Custom compared to those, it doesn't like harmonize as well. I know that's, that's a luxury issue, but I felt like I could afford it, so I figured, you know what, let's go all K's and make Harry from 10 years ago happy. I'm probably never gonna have to spend money on cymbals again. I mean, I say that now, but then next thing you know, I impulse buy another one at Guitar Center next week, maybe a splash. And another piece of good news that we just found out uh, is that our bassist that was originally gonna come out with us that pulled out, if you've seen my first tour video from this tour, you know I told you that our bassist Andy had to pull out last minute, and we were gonna get a depth bass player to come out. That depth bass player couldn't come out after all. The good news is that Andy can come out 
very soon. He's going to join us a little bit later on this tour. So we're very excited to see Andy again. We're just going to wait to get confirmation on his flight dates. It's very good news because then we're going to be a four piece. Now Andy's going to come out and play bass. Justin's going to switch from the bass back to the guitar uh, as originally intended. Tom obviously on keys and vocals. And I'm just going to be standing in the back playing tambourine. Tonight is our next gig. I think it's called the Tipsy Tiki in Fort Myers, I believe. So very much looking forward to our next run of gigs. And in a couple of days, we're actually doing sort of a mini road trip from here up to Jacksonville is the first stop. Then we're going to Charlotte playing a gig. Then we're going to my favorite place in America, Nashville. And then we are driving back down to Atlanta and from Atlanta, we're coming back down here and finishing off down here in and around Miami. So very exciting. I can't wait to see Nashville because last year we went to Nashville twice and I think both stops were for maybe just under a week at a time. And pretty much every single day I went down to Broadway, which for those of you that haven't been to Nashville and don't know what Broadway is, Broadway is a strip of street that either side there is basically just tons of honky tonk bars live music from 10 a.m in the morning until like 1 a.m at night and the musicianship down there is absolutely ridiculous and unlike anything that i've ever seen and especially uh one thing that justin and i noticed when we went there together we were looking at each other in awe of the musicians because they started out playing they played a song or two and then it seemed like everybody switched instruments and suddenly the singer was a better drummer than the drummer who started out playing and the guitarist was a better bassist or like that everybody sang lead and backing vocals and it and we were just standing there in awe being like how does everybody just play everything like how is this even what like what's even going on here nashville has been my favorite place in america since we went there and actually ever since we went there last year this has been the wallpaper on my phone which that is broadway right there so i could not be more excited to be going back also at this point i'd like to mention that end of the year, we and Tom's Elton Tribute will be playing a casino gig on the 29th of December in Portugal, in Estoril. It's just outside Lisbon. So for anybody that's either in Portugal or feels like doing a little holiday in Portugal, it's a beautiful country, so why wouldn't you want to? I will drop a ticket link down below and you can go get your tickets for that show. It's gonna be a big show. It's a 900 capacity uh, venue, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. It is 9.40 right now, so I think Justin and I are going to go grab some breakfast and some coffee. And then we gotta make sure our backing vocals are tight. Just been adding some for some of the newer songs. Then I'm gonna get some more booking work done, get on my practice pad. Uh, Justin's trying very hard to keep me from buying a new ProLogix Dave Weckl signature pad, which I've wanted ever since I saw Weckl's clinic recently in Berlin. And then in the evening, of course, we're headed to the Tipsy Tiki to play our next show. Kind of annoying that everybody else in Miami has got a black suburban except us. We got stuck with the grey. You should have seen our faces when Tom and I went to pick it up, and it was like some woman got the uh, got the last black one, and then we got stuck with grey. Still a sick ride though, but it's got to be black. You know what they say? No, I don't actually. Please tell everybody. Once you go black, you're gonna need a wheelchair. <laughs>
Well, that was a lovely tuna sub and uh, had some chocolate chip banana bread. Of course, an iced Americano to round it all off. Justin and I have been going to the um, Shepherd Cafe pretty much every day since we got to Miami. Uh, we discovered it on our first day here. It's been a mainstay this week. And to be honest, everything I've had from there so far has been incredible. So uh, a little secret tip from yours truly. It's just the sea in it, like sand, water. I mean, you can get that like back in primary school, a sand pit and a bucket of water. I mean, whatever. Buddy, I'm gonna need another iced Americano. No, absolutely not. We need to get hydrated is what you need. That's why I always going, uh, <laughs> between every single word. Like Justin, uh, I need a uh, iced uh, Americano, uh. <laughs> So I'm about to go get another coffee, but Justin reckons I've got a coffee problem. You got a problem, and you're in denial. No, I don't. I'm not even joking. You got a problem. What, like Dave Grohl and Fresh Pots? Fresh Pot! You think I shouldn't get another coffee? You're not even buying real coffee. You're buying iced americano. It's like a 17-year-old schoolgirl. I mean, <laughs> like, what are you? I'll have an iced americano. Buddy, you realize. Addicted. I think it's donut o'clock. I'm having a banana cream pie. And you can have the creme de la. Yeah, I've got one from yesterday. Mm. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh. Unreal. That's nice. Send the check. <laughs> right, time to pack up, because we are driving to the gig. Got my bag, got my symbols. Let's move. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the man of the hour, the man, the reason why we're all here, Mr. Tom Cridlin. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody does Elton better. Come on. 
That was awesome. I think we, we played amazing. The uh, crowd was loving it. People dancing, singing along. Tom, Tom, what do you have to say about that gig? You fooled them again. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty unexpected and fair, but that was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. And considering Tom had no sleep last night, like, pretty flawless game again. Well played, man. That was killer. These Zildjian K's, man. Oh, this is anticipated. They just harmonize so well together. They sound so good. I can wash these paper thins. Oh, and this kit. Yamaha Stage Custom Sounds. Banging. 15 inch sweets are, oh, delish. Absolute treat. Thank you so much, Will from Tipsy Tiki. And uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. Oh! 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 I just love playing drums, man. What a beautiful feeling. I believe we're gonna go get something to eat now. Time for dinner. So emotional, baby. I might be time I dig of you. I get so emotional, baby. What's the words? Ain't it funny what love can do? Can do. <laughs> you with your Melissa Major silly. <laughs> crushed it. What did everyone order? I got the cinnamon raisin. Three piece French toast with bananas and also some biscuits with gravy, sausage gravy. So, hopefully, that'll be pretty bad. What about Bye. you, Tom? Chicken and spaghetti. It's like my mum eats now. What about you, Debs? Berries. Cheesecake, mate. Insert overreaction here. This is the best cheesecake I've ever eaten in my life, buddy. Oh. Let's get the show back on the road. Bedtime. Back to the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is bedtime. And also, with that, it is time to finish this vlog. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future vlogs. And I will see y'all in the next video.